how I relate this to playing a game and in business is that I, I've started to play a lot of tennis with my brother. And I notice when I'll go aggressive at the ball or aggressive at the net or even aggressive like serve, I will notice that I will make mistakes. And the better times that I play, like the times that I play actually better is when I actually just focus on getting the ball in, not going hard mm-hmm. and just making less mistakes. And when I come back to business, is I've noticed that when I've gone too hard or too aggressive with something or spent too much money in a certain area um, or invested too much in a certain area, I've come in quite aggressively and that's increased my risk tolerance in business. And yeah. I relate that back to, yeah, tennis into... You, you can't into you can't force things. I think, you know, I, I played a lot of poker in college and there would be times where I would try to force my luck. And, you know, I just dig the hole deeper and deeper I remember when I was 19 years old, I, I, I took a $50 free roll. So I, I won a tournament, $0, and I won 50 from that. I made that 50 into $15,000, and I thought I was on top of the world. By the way, 19 years old, that's all the money in the world. Yeah. And in the, in the next three days, I went, I lost all the 15K, and then actually I overdrew. I, I applied for multiple credit cards, and I went, I went through this downward spiral where I was trying to force it, mm-hmm. and I ended up in debt 25K that I didn't pay off till I was about maybe 24, 25 years old, right? So that's a perfect example of trying to force the issue when it's not there. When, when the opening is not there, you don't, for, you don't force it. 